they don't judge me. But um, sitting there trying to get my message or get my order through the speaker. The lady keeps asking me, huh, huh, what? Or in the uh, outside lane, there's a Cummins turbo diesel sitting there. Now they're by nature normally pretty loud. This one was extra special loud. I mean to the point that it was annoying to even the driver when he got up there to do his order he shut his truck off because he knew the lady wouldn't hear him the thing had a doggone uh, tailpipe on it that most people could fit their head in that's ridiculous I'll show you a picture of it right here look at the damn pipe on that thing Holy cow. I wonder I couldn't hear a dang thing at the drive through That's ridiculous. I know there may have been a reason for it, but holy God. On a lighter note, I got some uh, body filler today. put on once I finish up my metal welding and everything which I'm on the way now to get a, a extension cord that I can build because I can't weld those new panels in without being able to pull my um, without being able to pull my welder out side of the shop. Right now the furthest it'll go because of where I've got the plug is to the edge of the door. Maybe hanging out a little bit. And it's only got a six foot lead on the wire feed. So I'm going to take a cue off my neighbor and put my make me an extension cord for my 60 amp outlet. I went looking for some Duraglass today at the only place that actually has that sort of thing in Portland. And the closest that I could find was at a place that actually sells automotive paint and such and it's this stuff it's called Dynalite it's got the same stuff in it that the Dynaglass does but this should be enough to finish up and fill in what little bit I've got to fill in on the vehicles after I put the metal, pan, uh, metal plates in and I was given a little bit of grief over not having put uh, not having just put the metal up on the truck and etched around it. But the problem with that is I'm using an old fender off of my son's 91 truck. So there wasn't really a way to put that up there and etch around it. I had to get the exact measurements of what I've got and I've got it down to a 32nd within a 30 seconds tolerance, which you, you can't get 
much closer than that. So basically what I'm going to do, I've got to find something to actually cut the metal now, which is what I'm in the hunt for at the moment. And then uh, my extension cord, which I'm going to have to go to Lowe's for that, a department store sorts. And let's see what all they have. Yeah, y'all can give me fits about my large caramel frappes if you want to, but there's a bunch of you guys I know that go out and get them too all the time. So you can't give me too much fits about it. Headed to Lowe's right now to get the, the parts I need to make me an extension for my welder so I can stretch it out there and weld up all the metal on that 88 4 by 4 and then um, I'm also going to look for something to cut that metal because I want it to be precise and I don't want to have to use my cutting wheel I don't think my compressor would be able to handle it too well be nice if I could have enough money coming in to actually afford to get a new compressor. As it is, I may wind up having to go over to my neighbor's and borrowing his for a while. He's got a big 60 gallon one. Just learned uh, yesterday that one of the girls that helped give me a boost on her channel actually had uh, actually just got partner herself. I thought she already was. And Kaylee Kill. K A Y L E I G H K I L L. She finally got partner. I'm hoping she don't get done like me and Adam got done. Or somebody goes in and just clicks away on her stuff. She's a really nice girl and never asks anybody for anything. I'd hate to see anything happen to, to her or her channels. But I just kind of find it odd that. YouTube supposedly says on their video, and I'll put a link to this video in the description because it's the biggest crock of crap you've ever heard. They say on their little partner video, which any of you guys can watch it, you don't have to be a partner to see it, but they say that they put a lot of time and effort into developing and making you a partner and helping you develop your channel, which they don't do squat. If you don't dig through all kinds of stuff, you never learn anything. There's a lot I still don't know about being a YouTube partner because nobody helped. The help I got was stuff that I asked people things. I'd ask them direct questions and there was a few of them that gave me good answers. Like uh, Tommy, TC71291, I think it is. Um, getting partner, I asked him how he went about it. Because I put a request in, of course I only had, I think, three or four hundred people at the time. And I put a request in basically just saying well hey I'd like partner um, I, I had been told that you had to have like 2,000 people or better for it and somebody else told me no you actually don't go ahead and try it so I did and the first time I was denied they, they said they weren't gonna do it at this time and then, uh, since it was denied, I was kind of frustrated because I figured 
if they let people do it with less than 2,000 subscribers, and I knew of a couple at the time, then why the heck couldn't I get it? So I asked Tommy, and he told me, he says, basically all you had to do was tell them that I've been at this a while, I've got this many channel views, and this many video views, the, vid the views on each of my videos are increasing, this is what I started out having, this is what I'm having now, several hundred or several thousand. And I put it in like that, and sure enough, they gave me partner with, I think at the time it was 450 people. And I got up to 500 after I did my little haircutting thing. No, it was after I got 500, that's right. But... I put it in the way Tommy told me to and they approved it right then no questions asked thought it was actually pretty cool and it was still cool right up to the time I get the little message telling me that my AdSense was disabled like I said I'm not in it for the money if I was in it for the money I'd have quit posting videos the minute they took my AdSense away I'm doing it for fun. I enjoy posting videos and, and making people look at me funny when I'm walking around in public with a camera in my hand or riding around talking to a camera on my dash. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. That's all I got for now. I gotta run in here and get my stuff to ex uh, extend the cable on my welder so I can get the and get something to cut the, the sheet metal with. So I can get that truck finished up body wise and get this Dynalite on it. Hopefully that's the right stuff and it'll do what I need it to do. But anyway, I thank you guys for watching and I'll have more for you later.